focuses on discrimination from a Punjabi Sikh perspective. So please give a warm welcome to Ankar Singh. So this is a part of a poetry from a piece called 100 Years Exo Saga. How can you expect an apology when keeping us down is their policy? I'm here to share some bars and some historic bars like those of Galapani. They tried to contain the spirit of those that read Gurbani and they did this all in the name of their Maharani. You see, I'm tired of hearing his story, his story. 100 years on and ours is still a mystery. Many are still living in the misery. How can we say Khalsa will have victory when there's no reparations or apologies for the families? Well, the butcher of Punjab got heroes welcome he got praise and he even got a pension. These aren't the only crimes of Britain. The whitewashers had history rewritten. Guruji's hukum is to protect those in poverty. We're not here to serve the crown, we're here in sovereignty. While Sikhs in the West were fighting for the crown, on the other side, in the East, the crown was shooting Sikhs down. When Indians got together, it's a Lahore conspiracy case. But nothing happens to a white supremacist that massacres a race. Our freedoms today are from the blood, sweat and tears of those before us that were imprisoned for years. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> Sorry, yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For speaking up against tyrannical rule, you won't hear this dark side of empire in school. Speak out against tyranny today and you'll get detained. 100 years on, please explain what has changed. They can terrorize and scandalize your name. Make up stories and put you in the frame. That's a juggie. When they see a turban and beard, they make presumptions. I feel like people see my brown face and they make assumptions. At airports, I get random interrogations. Even my own people are making insinuations. Let's not forget the court, sorry. Oh, this is jumping out of there. Injustice gives birth, sorry. Injustice gives birth to mewas, udams, bagats, and qatars. They set out to remove the qatars from the root, and the crime is still on that root. Not only do the history books cover up Sikh genocide, but Indians fought in the World Wars too, but they decide that this is part of history and something that they should hide. And see, so the kids at school don't see this. So they call me names like Paki and terrorist. When was Holocaust? When was the Holocaust of the German Jews? And when was the genocide of the Sikhs? Why is only one in the history books while the others overlooked? Maybe it's because of the British hand in that plan. The predicaments of our families that work till they're swollen, working to buy back that which was stolen. Um, I've missed a little bit from earlier, so let's not forget the crawling orders and let's not forget their borders. Um, and in summary, let's recap. So, I know it's supposed to be 100 years, I've gone a bit before that. So, in 1872, we had the Indian Evidence Act. 1919, we had the Rowlett Act. 1947, they broke our backs. 1959, we had the Indian Arms Act. 1984, we had the Harmandar Saab attack. And 2020, we won our rights back. Uh, Palestine's in the world. Uh, why did you pass out? Why did you pass out?